gonna be covering some interesting stuff. What are we gonna be covering? We're gonna be covering your first ever, your first ever visual loop. We're gonna do some animation stuff. We're gonna make it loop. Then you could take this, you know, slap it onto your cousin's DJ set, whatever you want, and you're gonna get some of the key frameworks to pretty much set up a lot of different visual loops with this and Blender and everything is going to be in-house. We're not going to be using Octane, we're not going to be using any plugins. So let's dive on in. All right, everyone. So first things first, we're going to go ahead and delete all our default actions or objects. Go to your edit tab, scroll on down to preferences within the animation tab. You're going to your default interpolation. You're going to switch that from Bezier to linear. The reason is we don't want our animation rounding out. We want it to just be constant. <clears throat> Second step here is I'm gonna spawn in the cylinder. And I'm gonna press R, rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis. Press N. And what we want to do is make this eight meters by the dimension. Grab that, hold control so you make sure it's right on. You want things to be pixel per size pretty much within this so we have it right at the location of zero I believe zero x zero then what we're gonna do go into edit mode press tab select the faces face select select both of these faces and we're gonna press X and delete only the faces cool we have our cylinder I'm gonna call it my main cylinder. This is, you're gonna see we're gonna be doing some crazy stuff soon. Now, I'm gonna go to the front, press tilde. I'm gonna spawn in a camera. My camera is exactly on zero. Now, what we're gonna do here is fun part. We are going to animate our camera moving. So pretty much because we set it up, you know, this is zero and this is eight. What I'm going to do is we're just going to keyframe the Y location on the camera. Go to the end of the animation, shift right arrow, make it eight, insert that single keyframe. And now you'll see we have our camera just shooting right on through it. So at this point, you're probably like, oh, I totally get this. Like, you duplicate more cylinders and then you just keep it going exactly that's pretty much what we're gonna do so <clears throat> one thing to keep this simple is we're gonna be creating a collection and that's where the main animation is gonna happen and we're just gonna duplicate it down the line um, but one thing you gotta do first is create that main animation so let's split our workspace again let's go ahead and just do this this up a little bit let's open up the shader editor let's go into our camera and let's go ahead and select the cylinder cylinder and let's follow follow these steps because essentially what we're going to be doing is we're going to be spawning in light but we want it to reflect which gives it a really cool kind of a view um so let's just do that for right now let's make our metallic a little bit like that now what we're going to do now which is the fun part we're going to spawn in some lights so here's here's where things will get a little tricky I suggest if you want to listen up listen up clearly here so we're going to bring in our light let's put it not too far off so now we have you can kind of see the animation starting to build out here it's using the reflections of the cylinder and essentially what I did was I just rotated it along but I can make it a little bit smaller just make okay so here's where things get a bit interesting we need to essentially duplicate this and rotate one of these on the top, negative 180. 
All right. So I'm going to go through it, but don't worry. Things get a little complicated here, but I'm going to tell you some of the values and it won't get that crazy. Let's go ahead and just pull back our camera perspective right about there. So we can kind of, you want to get that full view of what's going on. Let's also turn on our ambient occlusion, bloom, screen space. Wow, it's cool if you don't turn it on, you just kind of get this like very individual kind of effect. It's just nice in its own way. It's up to you though. Okay. So back to what we were doing. I need to animate this to fully rotate. Um, so let's go ahead and so it's going to be on our Y keyframe. And the way I figured it out in terms of direction is I would just kind of see, okay, well, if it goes negative 180, it's going to go that way. And then for the other one, your top one keyframe and again, we want it to go a bit of a negative 360. Just gonna go negative three sixty. All right. So now, if you just pay attention to the lights and not the camera, you have them moving like that. So for anyone that, for anyone that's eager to see the values, so let's just call this one top light, bottom light. The top light, the first value is gonna be negative 180, and the second end keyframe is gonna be negative 360. For the bottom light, it's gonna be zero to negative 180. Okay, here we go. Now, here's where it gets a little more interesting. So now we have our two lights, right? And you're like, okay, well, the camera just goes right by it. How do we fix that? What we're gonna do is we're gonna parent these two lights to the camera. So the way you do that is you're gonna select both the objects, but you wanna select the camera last. You press Control P, set parent object, and then you see it just moves with it. You can kinda of see in the camera view, it just keeps going. What I like to do What I want to do is make these two lights a collection. So, oops, so I'm going to press M, call it lights. All right, so now we still have our parent kind of thing going on, right? We have our light collection, which is kind of new. Now what we're going to also do here is press the loop, there, our little cylinder friend here. That's new collection, we'll call it loop, All right? And what we're gonna do is, within our loop, we're gonna shift A, bring in a collection instance, which is the lights. So we just made it kind of like a duplicate, just without the camera. And you can kind of see, they do follow the movement style. What we're gonna do here is, so let's go back. Got our lights. Let's bring it right about. Let's bring it right about here. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same kind of collection instance kind of spawning thing, but just the loop. Since we have our lights inside of it, you're gonna get another set of lights. Press Shift D, run the Y axis. Then just press Shift R a few times and you'll duplicate it. And what you'll notice here, now when you look at animation, you kind of have something going on here. Got this like wild kind of texture thing going on. You can up the metallic. It seems like as you bring it down, you get this. You, know, you can bring up the roughness if this is not your jam. 
But you see, at this point, we have the base animation. And the way to check if the loops, you go to the last frame, go to the first frame, if you see the same thing. We are starting from zero. And that reason is if it starts at one, it, it'll have a jump. But if you have it at zero, the animation kind of already starts before it even starts. If you know what I mean. Now, you want to play with colors? Go ahead and jump into your lights collection. And you can bring in like a nice little like pastel kind of blue. You can even bring up the waters if you want. It seems like as you bring up the waters, you get this really intense kind of one a little bit. Let's get a little something in there. Bring the pastel blue. I'm gonna bring in like this like similar color, but something on the opposite opposite of the spectrum, you know? Fifteen. Now if you press it. And we're just watching. Oh, and the last thing I didn't do, I just realized I'm like, man, this looks so gray. It's like your main cylinder and your base color and a zero. I mean, dark, <laughs> black. And there you go. What do you want to do with your lights again? Since it is kind of dull, you bring it up a little bit, like 30 watts. And there it is. We have our looping animation. Let's just double check it before we finish this off today. Hmm, looks like we might want to duplicate this a few more times. So, duplicate the loop. Really far down. <laughs> Thus, we don't want people seeing the fact that we're getting closer. So, if it's just all really far in the first place, it's a little bit harder to recognize. And there you go. You got your nice little PlayStation 2 kind of uh, <laughs> looping animation. So, thanks once again for dropping by. Um, I know this one was a bit like uh, where I ran into little things here and there, but that happens with Blender. Um, let me know. Let me see your creations. If there's any way that <clears throat> you're watching the tutorial and you're like, you know what, I wanted to go this way, or I want to bring in a different kind of light, or I want to make a certain side glow, or things like that, feel free to let me sh show it on social. Uh, I'm more than happy. And for anyone that um, completes this tutorial, these tutorials in the discord i'll drop you some discord nitro because it really means the world to me to see people actually learning from this stuff and that's the reason why i'm doing it so 